When I look at this data, it's obvious that my machine has some issues. I really need to retarget the machine. I've got a translational error and a rotational error. My minimum true position CPK is 0.2606. Not very good. Well, with this software, you've got tools that will let you do best fits, a best fit simulation. What is a best fit simulation? Well, a best fit simulation will look at all the parts and it'll figure out mathematically what the translation and rotational error is and it'll adjust that and it'll it'll recalculate the uh, your CP and CPK indices based upon those new you know the translate and rotational values so if I click on best fit you'll see that my true position CPK significantly improved now I get a 1.8688 as opposed to a 0.2606. So as you can see, I can I can do a best fit and send the data home. Best fit, send the data home. I also have some other tools which will let me control how I do the fit. For example, maybe I want to lock down the rotation and only look at the translational fit, the translational corrections. So if I click on this button, lock it down, do a best fit, you'll notice it just translated the data. It did not do a rotation. I still have the rotational error of 0.051151, and the correction only shows you the translational uh, translational values because I've I, you know I've only did it. I locked down the rotational part of it. So I can I can do different types of experiments. Maybe I just want to rotate it and lock it about the x and y. Here you can see what happens. You know, if you're using a CNC type machine, you probably aren't going to use this method of uh, controlling the fits. If you're using an older style uh, transfer line or maybe this is a stamping process, you may be limited to how you can control uh, the process, how you can adjust the process. So in those cases, you may want to lock down certain um, certain values so that it can control or or simulate more accurately how you can adjust the machine.